Atopic dermatitis is a dermatological condition which is characterized by eczematous skin lesions. Eczema, the word means boils, which describes the type of skin lesions which occurs in these conditions. It is characterized by itchy skin lesions in the body. There are periods of remission when the symptoms subside and then there will be exacerbation when it worsens. Usually it starts in infancy and often subsides by adolescence but might persist into adulthood also. The pattern of distribution of lesions in pediatric patients and adults are different. Face, back and extensor aspects of joints such as back of elbow and front of knee are involved in children whereas in adults the flexural areas are involved commonly which is front of elbow and back of knee. It is often associated with allergic conditions like asthma, allergic rhinitis and urticaria. IgE, a type of immunoglobulin responsible in allergy, is found to be increased in this condition. Some of the common triggers are wool, dust, pollen and exacerbation often occurs in bacterial infection like staphylococcal infection and viral infection like herpes infection. Common symptoms are pruritis which is itching, dryness of skin and eczematous lesions which can be papillovascular lesions or thickened skin regions which have undergone lichenified. Denny Morgan folds or additional creases found below the lower eyelid. It is suggestive of allergy condition and can be seen in atopic dermatitis. Comment below and tell me what are the other conditions where Denny Morgan folds are seen. About treatment of atopic dermatitis. First is identify and avoid or treat the underlying triggers. The various treatment options are skin hydrating agents, topical ointments, creams and oral medications. Remodians are agents which enhance skin hydration. They form an occlusive barrier for the skin and retain the moisture within the skin and also protect the skin from the irritants. This include linoleum, mineral oils, olive oil, paraffin and glycerin. Remodians are often added in moisturizer which we use over our skin to keep it hydrated. Topical steroids and calcineurin inhibitors like tacrolimus and pemacrolimus and antihistamines can be used. Phototherapy can be tried in refractive cases starting from natural sunlight exposure to ultraviolet A or aeroband of ultraviolet B treatment. However, the risk of hyperpigmentation of skin and skin cancer is there, so it should be used cautiously. Systemic therapy in form of oral steroids, cyclosporin, azathioprine, methotrexate can be used in very severe cases but risk of systemic side effects is present. There are certain biologics which have been approved for use for atomic dermatitis. They include lebricizumab, trilokinumab and nemolizumab. Lebricizumab and trilokinumab block the action of interleukin-13 and suppresses the inflammation. Nemolizumab blocks interleukin-31 receptor alpha subunit and hence is effective in atopic dermatitis by, by, by decreasing the inflammation. We came to the end of this video. Please hit the like button and share this video to your friends and family. Also hit the subscribe button right now for more such videos. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I'll see you in the next one.